Hello, I'm Entrilism and welcome back to Motorsport Manager. We're about to go off to Guildford, track layout A. It's going to be a one pit strap map because it's only got 13 laps. It's got a bit of water, low fuel burn. Second or above, let's do it. Okay, big cheesy tyre. Really want cheese now. Helicopter pad. Where do the people sit? There we go, they sit there. Where's the pit lane? Pit lane, pit lane, pit lane, pit lane, pit lane. Somewhere. Somewhere important. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll run intermediate tires. We'll run the appropriate thing for the day. Put you up to about 16. Well, 15.5. We'll use a 15.5 preset, which means a 25.5 over here. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And that's fine. Ooh, downforce is not good, though. Okay, so we will run the higher downforce. For you, 15.5, 25.5, that's fine, that's fine, put you up to 69, and an 81. Engelhart, you're out. Lara, you're out. Make this count, people. Guildford's a wide open race with lots of straights followed by lots of slow curves. And like the last one we're at, uh, it's not a high fuel burn. It's a high tire wear, but a very low fuel burn, surprisingly. I guess because you're not changing gears a lot. Let's see how we do on our first proper lap. So, kick you into over. Take mode. Probably should have had you out with like warming up your tires and on low for the first one, but whatever. Let's see how well we can do. Falco really flying around the lap right now. Really low fuel. Yeah, I know. We're not going to be, be, be well dispossessed to finish the lap without just crawling over the finish line, but I don't care. Doesn't really harm us. This does, however. We're going to run out of fuel earlier than expected. Yay, we're both out of fuel. Okay, good, excellent, excellent. We'll do this one first. So we'll increase the downforce, because that's the one we think we'll need to increase here. And we'll try and get these back to where they were. If we have to alter the downforce a little bit, so be it. It's going to be tough to get them bang on. Try that. You, on the other hand... We need to alter our handling. Ooh. Try that. And we're a good deal ahead of everyone else there. Notice that's about a three second and a bit head start there. Uh, why are people here running slicks? It's wet. What? I mean, I understand that it's, you know, it's a practice. As a human player, I might make that choice. The AI doesn't. The AI just picks the... Why? Why are you running slicks? You look at the time. There's like an extra 10 seconds. Not on me. Like, that's crazy talk right there. Oh, you're good. Lara, go out. Go out for like a nice long stint. Just have fun. Engelhart, we need to have words. Your handling's got worse. 
Well, not exactly worse. It has got better. But not enough. Try that. Lots more changes there, and we really do want to get our tier three. So maybe we should be pushing for our tier three right now. We're only just on the level to get tier two now, which is about two thirds through, less than two thirds. So we really have to make a real play for getting our tier threes. So I'm actually going to leave Engelhart out for a bit, even though we're not certain of his setup. We can make some guesses and hazard that he's probably in the right place, but we can't be certain. Lara's happy, I know, but I want to know what... There we go. Handling feels much better. But we are going to run out soon. We have 40 seconds to make this up. I think we've got it. Gear ratios are just right. Good. There we go. We've got our tier 3 knowledge. Well, we can be pleased there. Question is, will it come through on race day? Great, great, great. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's what I'll accept. And we're just going to wait for five, three, and four. Four's taking its time. And there we go. Sizable difference there. Okay. Rainy. Going to be rainy for a while. Looking like it might be rainy exactly perfect to do a one-pit strat. So... Fuel economy. Gonna run race trim. Gonna run race trim and I... Mm, reduced tyre wear or intermediate tyre performance increase. I'll take the intermediate performance increase because I think the tyres are going to be only on six laps and that's probably going to get dry. Can't be certain that without seeing the weather. Six laps of fuel each. Fine. What we'll do is we'll have someone pit early. I'm thinking we have Lara pit early and then do the back seven laps, and we'll have Falco do the front seven laps. No. Yes, no. Mm. Falco can afford to burn a little bit of extra fuel at the beginning. Falco does the first six laps. Because Falco's more efficient, we can actually do some jumping up the pack at the beginning. Whereas Lara has to burn slow all the way around. Okay, you run medium. Run attack. Run attack. One pit strap for both. Remember, Lara's pitting seven. Falco's pitting six. Do we want to change that? Allow teammate through. No, we're good. I can be more certain. If we need to change our tactics, it's better for Engelhart to go first because Engelhart can be more flexible because of that efficiency. Engelhart's pitting on seven. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, so far. Engelhart's managed to make a few extra paces. Good. 
Pack is pretty tight here, though, so I don't think we're going to make much more until it thins out. Okay, we made point one there without even really trying. No overtaking. Dreyfus went out. Just in sector one, of course, though. Lara's into 18. Uh, Falco is back to 17. They are racing each other. Okay, four laps, four laps, point 15. Getting there. Got to push on the tyres. Okay, make this count. I'll do a burn on Lara with the boost. Made a little bit of time. Didn't really make any places. Lara managed to make another place there. Come on. And from now on, we're not using the boost. We're going to try and save it up. For when everyone else pits and we can make an advantage. Do we want to pit with everyone else? Don't think we do. I think we're running the one pit strat. Right. Mm, probably should use my boost, but oh well, we've got a boost coming up we can use it at. Uh, Lara, switch out for slicks. And we're going to run you on softs, I think, because we never have to change. We can keep them for the entire time. So. Whereas Supersoft will be risking it, because 8 laps, 8 to 10, yeah. Um, pit strategy, be safe about the pit strap. Right, here we go, here's our boost. Lara, do your thing. I don't know if you're going to be able to have enough fuel to do the next part, but we're going to damn we'll try. Okay, Engelhart, now's your turn to pit. <coughs> uh, grab yourself. Oh, it's tempting to go for a super soft. But we will go for a soft. We'll tank of fuel. Pit strat. We'll go with a balance. We will go with a safe. Lara's away into 15th. Immediately burn low. If you're going to make this work, you're going to need to save as much fuel as possible. Push your tires a little bit more. It's going to drop us into 17th. Oh, 16th. Okay. It was a good pit, but it could have been better. We'll have to check how much fuel we're saving on Lara soon, because we're not planning to pit again, remember? We've saved 0.25. That's almost enough. It should be 0.33. I think we're getting there. We can make it work. Larry, you're probably going to have to allow Engelhart through. Because you're not running the same system.
Okay, go back to race mode. Both of you engage your boosters. Okay, if Lara gets ahead, Lara gets ahead. We're now in third and fourth. Expecting number one to pit relatively soon. Number one's really far ahead. Number two looks like pitted recently. There we go. We're now 2-3. Can we make this work? I don't know. It's looking iffy on, Liara, uh, Liara, on Lara's um, fuel. Engelhart's looking good. I wonder if we can make it one. I doubt it. We're 1-4 now. We're, oh, we're outside two. We're outside two. That's not allowed. That is not allowed. We need that position. That's our money right there. Come back. Oh, I didn't mean to press that button. Can I cancel that? There we go. Damn. 1.4 mil right there. When it's less than that, whatever. But when it's 1.4 mil on the line, there's no way we can catch up with them now. They're gone. We've had it. We tried our best. 3 5. 3 6. It'll do. It'll do. It's good for points. It's not good from any other standpoint, but it's good for points. Are Gomez and Valdez on the same team? Because there's two grey teams. If they are... Uh -oh. Surprisingly didn't do as well as we thought it would for a one, two, uh, for one pit strat. But still made good distance. No money though. Nah, they're on different teams, it's fine. We're 59 points away from second and third, both of whom are tied. Uh, fourth is only 60 points away. It's a pretty tight pack, which is what we expected to see, considering most of the parts are spec and there's driver raids on. Damn. Shame about the money. Maybe we shouldn't have played it quite so safe on our pits. <gasps> rival with teammate. I can't drive this team while Lara is still here. The driver will not renew their contract while Lara is still driving for the team. I think that, unfortunately, I don't like being bossed around and told what to do. But at the same time, I was planning to get rid of Lara anyway. So you do what you got to do. It's a shame because she's a pay driver. But there are better choices like that. Oh, you came second. How dare you? Oh, be quiet, Shannon. What do we got in our mail? Searing pays, car conditions, interview of the Evening Herald, fine. Use team orders. I thought it was justified. Bloody hell, team orders all the time. Problem with Lara. I've had it with Enrica. She gets a new pass, she struts around, she uses the place, she even used my toothbrush. At Wrong, wrong accent. If she gets around a new pass, she struts around like she's also the place. She even used my toothbrush. I don't wish you'd show me more support, it's infuriating. Fairly decent driver, yeah. Yeah, two and a half stars. Hedonist. Uh, pay driver. Mm. Hates authority. Oh, oh, that's Chairman's happiness. Minus 35. That's bad. Selfish. Resource. Oh, no, no. Go away. Shoot. You're terrible. Uh, calendar. What are we looking at next? Tondela C. 
Tondela, Tondela see, Tondela beat there, you Tondela see. I can see what you Tondela see. Let's check how those improvements to going to the car. Going pretty good. You should be done before the race. New sponsors. Okay. 150 per race. That pays me 0.9 mil over the course of six races. So that's paying me literally 150 per race. It's easy to do. Upfront payment. Half a mil. That is one of the worst offers I have ever seen. That pays... Uh, less than half of that? Whereas you pay me... Uh, almost 200,000. Still a pretty trash tier offer. But it's better than the other two. You are three stars, but still pretty trash. Okay. Measure hated biomechanics, okay. World Motorsport Championship at Vancouver. Alright, what's happening? Below average driver. Below average driver. What about you? Are you the two and a half stars? Problems with another driver. Okay, uh... You're bang on your target. 10% chance of rain, 15 mile, uh, 3 mile lap, 15 lap. From another driver. Laura is an absolute nightmare! No one does that you keep belittling me when we talk to the press. Now she's, I'm not ERB, EIS material, what should I do? Uh, be aggressive or be a hard worker. I say be a hard worker, get your head down. Yeah! Fitness plus one, mechanic relationship plus 15. Ooh. Factory feedback. Could we have more money to upgrade the factory? Mate, if you got 15 mil, I don't. Uh, that's some free stars. I'd like to get any better. No. Should probably star the people that were amazing, shouldn't I? Should have gone through and been like, I will star you. Can I go through more complete though? Let's do it really quick now. We can go through and find all the people down here. Why would I want you when I could have you? Or you? Or you? Looking at people with three and a half or higher, effectively. And who come with some, you know, pre-built skills. Ah, uh, your world might sport, your world might sport. Like, the people we're looking at are world motorsport championship material. Like, they are up there in capability. Which is good. Right. Carry on. And it's time to travel to Tondela. Factory staff idle. I know, I'll give you a job before we leave. Work on the front and rear wings. Must make sure they're reliable. Uh, do we go for second or above? Normally I'd say no. But when it's this much money compared to that much money, it's worth rolling the dice on it. And we only get it maybe one in every 2.5 times, but it'd still be worth the money. I didn't install a new part. I didn't install a new part. No! I had the new illegal part for a reason. I should have installed that. I knew there was something else again. 
Um, pretty heavy on the downforce here. Oh my god, it gets worse. All the way over there. Damn, this track is demanding. We'll run softs. We're hitting th uh, two times for a free stint track. We'll run softs. Okay, move up to there. Move you up to there. Twenty-five and forty-four. Right, let's do it. Engelhart, out you go. Lara, out you go. Let's see how this goes. Some changes to the last time we were here at Tondela, obviously, being a different track layout. Got that little kink up here, and I think we don't have the shortened bit here. We have to go around this doglet, which we didn't last time. Let's see how fast our first attempt is. Okay, kick in all the extras. How's our first sector looking? Decent. And we hold the record for sector one, even though some people have completed it. We hold the record for sector two, even though people completed it. Let's go for right in lap. Not bad. Lara being 0.2 seconds behind probably would have been quite allayed by the, uh, like, allayed? Yeah, allayed. Do I mean allayed? Anyway, uh, we would have been, you know, mitigated by the, uh, the suspension if we'd had that, but I forgot to put it in, so, no. Big difference, though. Look at that three seconds. Three seconds is loads. Absolutely loads. Go out. Do your duty. You, on the other hand, you're going to need to make some adjustments. Hmm. Try that. Let's try and get as much experience as possible. you in immediately. See what you're cooking. This is the only time I can really bring you in without putting my chance of getting tier threes in. Oh, hello. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Out you go. Uh, we'll put you on three. Let's put you on. Burn it. Go crazy. Well, maybe not go crazy right now. This is your out lap. Not that it matters, because again, practice, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Good bit of knowledge coming in here. We're on our way to our tier 3 knowledge skills. Alright, keep up the good work. Two minutes left to get from just under half up on knowledge skills to fill them up. This is our second to last lap. We are going to our final lap now on Engelhart, and Lara is joining her last lap now as well. Notice, by the way, the plus two seconds because we're now running with damaged tires. Tires do make a difference, folks. Uh, 
And our large skills are coming close. I didn't think it was going to be this close, but we're going to make it. Didn't think it was going to be that close, though. There we go. Tier 3 as we get onto the second to last corner. Whew. Didn't quite think it was going to be there, but we did it. Nail biting, but we did it. Hi, Dreyfus. Okay. First and second. There we go. Someone's actually talking about us. Thank you. Looks good so far. Might not even run fuel economy. Ah, fuel economy allows me to burn harder. Race trim, fuel economy. Risk taker, because it's all about them pits. All about them pits. About them pits. About them pits. No trouble. And we'll go race trim as well, because I think we might try and do a cheeky little tactic. 15 laps. Can we make this tire last for 10 laps? It would... Would it be worth it? It would, it would be dangerous. We'll do it on Lara. Not on the first pass, because on the first pass she's going to be pushing her tyres really, really hard. On the second pass. On her second pit stop, we'll see if we can get her on uh, to stay on her mediums. So in the first pit stop, we stop for mediums. Second pit stop, we maybe keep her on mediums. The downside is her mediums will be really, really run through, which is going to be a few seconds penalty for each lap. And she's going to be running mediums, which aren't as good as softs. I think I might actually stick to softs, thinking about it. Just because that is a lot of penalties per lap. Yeah, it gets us out in front of the pack, but the penalties per lap will get very high. Hitting them both lap five? Could be end up being a double pit, which wouldn't be great. We'll have to see. We could bring Lara in early or something. Run Lara with a lap less of fuel. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Run her in for a lap four pit. Right, Lara's pitting early. Gotta bear that one in mind. And Lara's off. Still caught by the pack. Almost hitting Falco there. And the pack is really causing us trouble here. Oh, but we're sliding in a few places. Oh, no. And we're back out. Oh, in and out. In and out. Oh, come on. Still not managed to make a decision about where we want to be in the pack or not. Engelhardt decided that, you know, they're going to change over Engels. We need 19th. Now 18th. Now 19th. And then, come on. Someone do something. Alara slips in there. Sneaky slip. Very nice. And this is why Lara is going to be fired at the end of the season. Because Lara, you suck. At least that solves the problem about who we're going to pit. Do you want to pit the safety car out? We could actually run a one pit strat now. It would be a modified one pit strat. We are pitting now. But the safety car out. Yeah. New tires. New tank of fuel. We're on a bounce pit strat. Ah, oh, boost won't work here because the safety car's out. I thought it had taken effect yet, but it has. Modified one pit strat it is. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, serve all the fuel you can. Even back up on the tires. You just got to catch up with 18. Lara. Oh, that is a pretty bad crash, though. I really hope you aren't injured. That might actually prevent us from going up. We might just disappear and avoid promotion if that happens. Please don't do that. Don't ruin our chances for promotion, Lara, just because you couldn't drive a car. Something you are paid a lot of money to do, by the way. Right. We lose one place to be able to play the one pit strat. Totally worth it. I'm Italy and Lara, but I couldn't control that. I could. I could have fired her a long time ago. I'm getting very annoyed at Lara. She has the stats to be better than this, but... I don't know. Maybe I need to check her consistency or her focus. It's her focus, I think, that decides if she crashes or not. That's a condition. Not even damaged. That's just flat out gone. The car is flat out gone. She might be really badly injured or dead. Oh, I guess we'll only find out at the end. That was a nasty crash. And when the journalist asked me afterwards, who's to blame? I will be like, no, it was Lara's fault. Straight up. If the chairman asked me to fire her, I might well do it. I'll take the two million on the nose. I'll hire one of the better drivers. And here we go. The racing continues. Engelhart managing to push it up. We'll use our boost. Stop using our boost. Hit the pack. So we'll keep our boost. Can I attack a bit more? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, no. You don't need to get your tires up. Yeah, they are graining, though, I guess. So, yeah, push them to neutral for now. People are going to be pitting soon. I imagine if not this lap, then the next lap. This lap would be the normal place to pit. They might have changed it because of the safety car, but I doubt it. Did someone crash? Sadat crashed. Okay. Wow, that's impressive. Where did Sadat crash? Can I find out? No? Okay. People are going to be pitting now. This is where it's going to get fun. Start heating those tires up ready for it. Boost. Into first! And our fuel, we get through seven, we get through eight, we get to the end of nine, leaves five, six laps left, our tank can do that. We don't even need to conserve fuel anymore. We're going to be picking before everyone else, but at the same time, eh. New faster sector two. Nice. Let's see if we can set a new faster sector three. Did we get the fastest lap? Did we get the fastest lap? Yeah, we did. That's worth two points. Someone else might beat us, but, you know, hopefully we can keep that under our belt. And we've damaged tires as well. It's pretty impressive. Because it's all about that lap, about that lap. No, looks better if it's all about the pit, all the pit, no trouble. Burn through your fuel now. We need to pit order very shortly. Right, pit order. We will want you out on. Can't keep those tires, new tires. Fuel options. Fill the tank up. Pit strat. We'll go for balance pit strat. Remember, this is the one time we pit. And we have a good distance on everyone else right now. And we've got a faster sector too. Not bad. Yeah, we're going to be back down in sixth. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, we see people starting to pit ahead of us. Damn, okay, this is our chance. 
no, only a few people pitting. Other people pitting next time. We're in third now. Lara's still out. I know. It brings us down to what we can manage of, like, an average of 10th. Thank you, Lara. But you've got to play the hand you're dealt. And Lara dealt us a fireball. So I guess you play a fireball. It does 86 damage over radius of... Wait, that's the wrong system. Uh, yes, nerd. I know. I don't care. I, I like being a nerd. Eh, yeah, geek more. Right. We have enough fuel to make it to the end. We are in first. We are, more importantly, in first with a 15-second lead. And making more time... Eh, no, actually 14 seconds now. But then again, they did just come out of the... Uh, Hit lane, so I think it's gonna comfortably give us a first unless something crazy happens. Don't crash, Engelhart. You've been pretty reliable as not incompetent, unlike Lara. Keep it up. Not Lara. You need to change. It's probably not gonna save you anyway. You probably Oh no, don't take my first fastest lap from me, no! We'll try and get a fastest lap back. Two points is pretty nice. To really start for your fastest lap and push for it. Still, 15 seconds ahead of Rogers. Which, considering that all the cars are pretty much the same, is really a testament down to Engelhart, especially when driver aids are involved, which make all drivers much more similar. At least in terms of their effect. Okay, let's try for the fastest lap. Push the tires, push everything. Well, first sector two. And we're out of fuel. Uh oh, people are catching up. That was a slow lap. Still, way in advance. Yes, I'm a drowning genius. Yes, you are, Falco. Lara, we're having words. Those words might be, I fire you. If you've injured yourself, we're firing you. Because if I, like, demote you or something, you'd be like, Oh, why are you demoting me? It's so unfair. But, like, medical leave? Oh, why are you demoting me? It's so unfair. Admittedly, you did allow Falco to win that race by allowing the safety guard to come out. But still. I'm glad we weren't running in legal park. Because if you'd got demoted from 20th to 22nd, it's not possible. You don't actually go down. Uh, but if you'd lost a part and crashed, I'd be very, very sad. Oh, wow. Look at all those illegal parts. Four illegal parts found. Damn. Oh, joint second now, Lara. You've got a lot to work on. Joint second. We're a 60-point lead. Good, but could have been a lot better. Lara, I am frankly disappointed. And that's putting it mildly. Let's see if the chairman demands that you leave. Your morale only changed that much. Wow, okay. Okay. Do we have any interesting messages saying you're fired? Lara's car dropped an average of 90% condition. <laughs> I wonder why. Except the interview. Kruger's motorsport had a bit of a disaster in that race, finishing down 8th. What's your analysis? Ah, the team looks weak. Can't say that the result struck me. <laughs> Reduce your team markability. Not that really helps me, particularly. <sighs> okay. You weren't injured, were you, Lara? No. Shame. 
and we've got sponsor slots open, I won't be able to fire you and get someone else in time to increase our sponsorship, like, appeal. It'd be hard to increase it to four stars, though. That would take a, a truly large bonus. Actually, it might happen. If I fired Lara quick enough. That said, the break contract for Lara is... Only 1.3. It's not worth it, because any driver that I hire will only serve for the last three months of the season. And I'll be paying them be like, oh, you can have a 36-month contract. And it won't actually be 36 months. It'll be three months plus 24. So I'd, I'd effectively lose out. Not money, but I'd lose out on the how long I'd get them for. Which, when you get a really good driver who is unemployed right now, you want to lock them down for as long as possible. So I'm happy that we've got a large enough lead that we can sit out the reindeer with Lara. If she screws up again, though, she's out on her ass. Wow, no one is happy. That's a lot of jobs available. Uh, my stats are okay. So I've got one podium in the first one. I've got four podiums in the second. So far, eight podiums in eight races. Hmm. And four wins. Okay. Well... We do have two races remaining, Milan Track B and then Black Sea Track A, which is worth double points. We've kind of got our lead pretty hard locked down at the moment at 60 points. To lose, we'd have to have a lot of crash outs and a lot of last place finishes. Er, actually, that's if no one else got points. If people, oh, if people are getting their average points, if we finish 8th in every single match... That could actually probably allow them to overtake us. Okay, so yeah, actually, there's room to play for. If we have another one or two, if we have one or two crash outs and we don't perform well, especially if we have two crash outs, uh, they could overtake us. It's possible. It is actually possible. They'd have to get teams get both their drivers relatively high, as opposed to getting one driver high and one driver low, which we've seen a lot of here. Whereas up here, we saw getting both members of the team pretty high. Um, but there is one pit strat coming up at Milan, and we do seem to do pretty well at those. Not Black Sea, but Milan. So, let's hope it works out. That'll be next episode, though. If you've enjoyed, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll be Natural Elysium, and until next time, stay shiny. Lara sucks. She is so, so bad. I want to fire. I look forward to it.